everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Carla, also known as Little Fit Devil, and today I have the wet hairdo because I am taking you all to the beach with me. I think it's gonna rain later, so we have to do this right now. I am styling one of my most favorite bathing suits. This one is a red one by Teflon. If you haven't seen the review of all my Keplum bathing suits, you have to check it out. I will put the link in the description. But this is the number. I think it's really cute. I love red and I also love the shape of this one. I think it does great things for an athletic body like mine. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I am going to take you on a beach vlog. I don't do a lot of vlogs, but I think this one is pretty cool. And this one is a patron selected video. Thank you so much to everybody supporting me on Patreon. I will put the link right here in case you wanna check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm bringing and then we're gonna go have some fun at the beach. First of all, I'm gonna wear my dress for the beach. This is a cover up and I think it's necessary because you don't just wanna show up at the beach like this. So I just like to wear a cute cover up. This one is by Shine, which, you know, as you guys know, I have done plenty of reviews by them. I will also put the link in the description if you guys want to check this one out. And then I'm going to take, of course, my towel, all the um, necessary items in my bag. This is a new one, actually, by Adidas. I think it's really cute because it has plenty of pockets. But I'm bringing my book with me. And of course, I'm gonna bring some beverages. I love seltzers, you guys know that. So I'm gonna bring a couple bubblies and my wallet. You know, very casual. We don't need a lot of stuff to go to the beach. Sunglasses and we're good to go. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, let's go. Okay, while well, I'm at it, I'm gonna check my mouth. Oh, this is mine. How about that? I knew it. Okay, we're heading over to the beach. I got in the car because we are not going to the beach across the street. I'm actually driving to Residence Beach, which is Marco Island's, you know, public access beach. Um, it's a very short ride anyway, it's like five minutes away. And we're just gonna park there and enjoy the beach right there. It's equally beautiful and we can get some food because I'm hungry. So this was a great decision. So I really hope you like it. Now, check out the beautiful Residence Beach. It has a really nice park and it doesn't seem like there's a lot of people here. How are you? Hi, how are you? Good. This is the walkway to the beach. It's looking a little dark. Thunderstorms, you can hear them as well, but I think we'll be just fine. Okay, I am all set up with my snacks and my book. Hopefully we can uh, skip the rain and take
Okay everybody, I just woke up from a nap, so I think I'm going to go ahead and see how the water is looking. I have a few open wounds because I fell earlier today, so I'm not going to be swimming in the water because of flesh-eating bacteria that is always in the coast of Florida. If it's not flesh-eating bacteria, it's red tide or something, but today we're just gonna like, go check it out just to show you guys and see how it looks. Let's go. As you guys probably noticed, it does take a bit of time to get to the water from the little ticky I was sitting at. And that's because of Mark Island. Mark Island has like really, really long beaches. I mean, show it off. I mean, it's really enjoyable. Um, I would always recommend flip flops or water shoes. I'm not wearing any. But uh, the shells here are a little, you know. Okay, so Marco Island is pretty cool. So if you look in this direction, you see kind of your tall buildings, hotels, really fancy buildings that overlook the water. To the other side, you actually get a few condos and you get a tour of the untouched beach and bay. Uh, that's Tiger Hill Beach over there. Okay, everybody, that walk got me really tired. It's really a workout on its own. So how about we go get some lunch? I will probably just record what I got. Um, I just don't want to do the recording, you know, during because I am actually shy. I don't know. So let's go ahead and get something to eat, and then I'll give you my score. How about that? Okay, I like to always sit on the side of this residence beach. Oh, I did a car here. Let me tell you what I did. So 
I grabbed mustard and ketchup and I didn't do it the American way. I actually did it my way. I put it half on one side of the bread, half on the other side of the bread and this is gonna be absolutely delicious. I promise. I really wish they had mayo, but we have to work with what we got. Let's get it. Bro. It's a five dollar hot dog, okay? That I got at a beach stand. Flies everywhere. But it's actually really damn good. It's an all beef hot dog, which is my preferred anyway. And I think with my little concoction there, it works out pretty well. So I'm gonna give it an 8.7. It's actually better than I thought. I mean, I might change my score. I can't do that though, but it's really, really good. right before the gym, believe it or not, because we're heading over to the gym after this. I didn't get the hot dog. <laughs> Alright, so the chips that I'm eating at are these Cape Cod. They're actually pretty good. Um, I didn't know they came with the hot dog. Then it also comes with a pickle that is going to really just go in the garbage because I don't know about you savages, but I don't like pickles. Oh my god, it's, it's definitely destroyed, but we're gonna make it work. Here we go. Okay, I think I'm done. Let's go ahead and um, go to the beach again. The sky looks clear now, so we'll finish the beach day properly. Bye.